Is it, it is a little bit of a niche sport. It's just like any other sport. The one thing that I get a lot when I'm cycling down the street is duh, 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 duh. Why, why do we love sport in general? Uh, nobody's born being able to unicycle. But you come here and see there are people playing, that's not what you're thinking. My name is Ben Tallis and I sort of run the Cardiff Unicycle Hockey Club. It is a little bit of a niche sport, but um, actually overseas it's uh, much more common. So, but there are lots of clubs all around the, uh, all around the world and uh, there are international and European um, championships and so on. And yeah, here in Cardiff we've been playing as a team, meeting as a club for about 15 years or so. You know, I think it's important not to um, Portray unicycle hockey as like a, like a freak sport, um, like like the circus freak sort of attitude that most people seem to have. It's just like any other sport. The one thing that I get a lot when I'm unicycling down the street is duh, 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 people will just do that. But you come here and see there are people playing. That's not what you're thinking. Like this is, it's a people are focused in the middle of it and doing some quite impressive manoeuvring. Usually in sports, it, it, uh, there's no sort of age limit. Uh, it's not um, split male and female, uh, old and young. The important point is how good you are on a unicycle and how you know, how skillful you are. So you don't get any benefit by being older, younger, male, female, etc. There is everyone here. You can get people here who are you know, from all different parts of the world, all different um, hobbies, and it's just it's a weird thing that unites a lot of different people. What's special in particular about unicycle hockey is it does not discriminate. There's no, there's no segregation of sex or gender or ethnicity or even age. Everybody plays unicycle hockey and everybody can. Um, so some people here are 50 plus years old and they bring their children. It just does not discriminate. It's really inclusive. Okay, yeah. Uh, it is uh, very important to us to train new people in how to unicycle and um, if they want to then to participate in the unicycle hockey. So we run the club and we split the, the sessions so that people uh, who have no unicycling ability can come along and they can learn how to ride a unicycle. We have unicycles that we lend them. Nobody pays anything until you can ride the, the full length of the ring unassisted. Um, and then if people want to get involved in playing hockey after that point then um, that's fine. Ben, our the organiser and the tutor for the whole group, he, he gives really good one-to-one -one sessions for any newcomers that walk through the door. He's incredibly supportive, so it's very welcoming. There's there's no weird vibes at all. You know, everybody just learns at their own pace. So uh, it's it's working for us. The the team is going from strength to strength. The club is uh, is doing well. Um, we've organised national tournaments and we've had various people from. Um, around the country coming down and other people are also sort of starting to model their clubs on this one uh, by bringing new people into the into the sport of music. So sometimes we'll arrange like rides down the Taft Trail or around the bay or just uh, going out unicycling in different places. I mean we're all talking to each other throughout the day, throughout the week. We all speak to each other about when we're going out um, to see if anyone else wants to come for a ride in the week. What's one of the nice things about this club is you can you have fathers and sons and daughters playing together and husbands and wives playing together on the same team, which is uh, you just don't find in the other sports. It, it, the community needs to be here because it's a very hard thing to do. At the beginning, like it's incredibly difficult to unicycle. It's not 
it's something that comes naturally to anyone. So you, we need to be welcoming and we want to be welcoming because we want people to unify. Come along. Come down, come and give it a go. It doesn't cost anything. We've got unicycles to try. Uh, we've never met anyone who can't uh, learn to unicycle and lots of people enjoy it. Uh, nobody's born being able to unicycle. Um, but so if you uh, even think that you might enjoy it even for a little bit, come, come and give it a go. It's, uh, it's great fun.